The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, has called on the new leadership of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, to embrace technology to boost financial inclusion. Speaker Abbas made this call during the investiture and swearing in ceremony of Professor Pius Onlariwaju as the 23rd president of the Chartered Institute of Bankers, CIB, and held in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Love Oyedokun was there and brought back this report. It was a well-attended event. Dignitaries, leaders in the financial sector, families, friends and well-wishers crowded the venue to savour the glaze and glamour of the swearing-in of Professor Pius Olariwaju as the 23rd president, chairman of the council, Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. Olarawaju was sworn in by Justice Owolabi Dabiri at an event chaired by senior advocate of Nigeria, Wale Olanikweku. After the swearing in, he was decorated with the insignia of office. Insignia of office is now coming on. He's landing. He's landing. 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 In his goodwill message, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, who was represented by the Chairman of the House Committee on Banking, Wanchuku Eze, hailed the immediate past CIBN President, Ken Okwara. His tenure was, has been marked by unwavering leadership, foresight, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Under his guidance, the CIBN has achieved significant milestones and contributed immensely to the growth and development of the banking sector in Nigeria. In his acceptance speech, Professor Pius Olariwaju thanked God for making the day a reality and making the transition seamless and hitch free. He spoke on the economic dynamics, particularly the microeconomic pressures, calling for adaptability and strategic focus. That's the environment a couple of days ago, after the, after the preparation of this letter, something was whispered to us that cyber security, you know, charge will come into play. Although that is being downplayed. So we have a lot of challenges. So do we, do we just accept these challenges and not do something? No, we will do something. Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, Belo Hazen, urges players in the banking sector to pay attention to cyber security. He noted that a deliberate and collaborative approach to cyber risk involving all stakeholders is essential to protect the banking system. Other elected office holders include first Vice President Dele Alaki, second Vice President Mujishola Bakari Ashiru, and National Treasurer Peter Ashadi. Love Uyeduku Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.